All right, hey guys, it is the 5th Gen Hyundai Elantra guy again. I hope you guys really enjoyed the content that I uploaded recently, especially the more serious modding that we're getting into with the Pexi AFC Neo, a fuel controller and tuning unit. Really enjoyed making the videos, even though they took a while, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And again, thanks for the 100 subscribers and now the 200, so thanks again, guys. To continue on with the Apexi uh, topic, though, I wanted to actually install an Apexi intake. Um, as you guys have probably seen in many of my videos, I've had uh, many different intakes, and uh, it's because I actually like experimenting with the intake design, whether it's the pipe length and diameter, filter type, etc., etc. But now I just want to set in with this filter here using many different concepts and information that I've gained. I think this is probably the best possible intake that I'm going to have until we get some, uh, some you know, force induction set up. And today, we basically are installing the Apexi Super um, Dual Funnel Intake. And basically, it's designed like a velocity stack on the lower part of the filter. Um, on the inlet flange, there's a curvature. And then on the top, there's actually a very fine point, which when the air hits up there, the air at the top being sucked in doesn't hit it, hit uh, and create like a front. It basically, it's guided down, so it really is just like a pure velocity stack, but with really good dry media filter capabilities from Pexi or Apex integration. Basically, this isn't going to be a full install today, guys. It's mainly going to be the install. There's one thing that I did here, which you guys could probably see what this is. I built my own little custom air box here out of um, well mud flaps, the ones you can get on Amazon, and the material is really easy to cut and it's strong and light. And I basically took measurements and I have this little guide here which goes from the factory swoop, fills air inside here, and then I have a rubberized gasket here for my 4 inch pipe, I'm using 4 inch pipe reducing from 4 inch to a 2.75 inch coupler, which 2.75 inches is for the throttle body. And then basically it fits perfectly right in here, I'm going to close it off and I'm going to have a sealed system here. So essentially, I get the benefits of short RAM, and the benefits of short RAM is quicker throttle response, um, but the downside usually is engine heat, so this is going to ensure that we basically have cold air always being funneled in from the duct, and at a stop it may heat up a bit, which I'm probably going to have like a little cutout right about here so you can see the filter, always not just a black box. I'm going to put a Pexi decal on, on the little black covering on top, and um, I'll show you guys how this is going to be mounted. Basically, it's secured from here from the swoop, and then on the bottom I had a little aluminum plate bracket with double-sided tape stuck down so it has support. And I have uh, basically a thermal barrier here which reflects the radiant heat from the engine side back and so that there's less heat coming from this side. There will be some heat from the bottom from the transmission but I'm not really concerned with that. I'm just going to put some more an issue of tape on there and that's aluminized that's going to reflect the bottom there. But this side and the back side and this side don't have to worry about so I'm going to leave black. And uh, yeah, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get with the install. Uh, interesting thing about Apexi intakes are that, the, uh, here's my, uh, my flange, by the way. It's, I always use Spectre. I've got great stuff. It's a four inch. And um, that's just my water bottle, the little decal I'm going to put on. And here's the beautiful Apexi intake itself. You can actually see they have a flange here, which I'll zoom in on later. But I'm of course using V-Bands, Mishimoto coupler. And they have a metalized flange, which they have a uh, sort of like a gasket attaches to the filter itself. You can see the conical area here. And it's dry media, which is good, especially if you have a MAF sensor. You want dry media intake and not uh, oil-based. But yeah, guys, it's nice because on the inside here, we'll zoom in everything in more detail, but it, it's a little bit bumpy, and that's nice because that's going to create like a boundary layer. That's it that's going to create a basically a really hyper smooth surface of air molecules that the other air flowing on top of can go through. So that's what this is designed for as well. So this is a super well designed intake of course by Apexi. And so um, at least I'm assuming that's what the purpose is. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, how, des how well designed their stuff is. So we're going to get right to the install guys, show you the engine bay. You'll get to see a close up of the inside of everything. So we're just going to go straight to the engine bay and install everything. It shouldn't take too long. Course, and then of course you'll see some more details in the box so let's get right to it all right guys and as you can see right there there's our throttle body and attached to it we have our two v-bands and our 2.75 to 4 inch reducing clamp inside here we have our little support bracket 
the support bracket itself just has 3M double-sided tape, cut piece of aluminum here, and attached with one of my JDM 10mm engine bay dress-up kits, and I cut the edges there, and this is going to be a sub support here for it, for the weight of it, and also to make sure that's not just leaning in the coupling there. And uh, get the decal put on and tape this duct up here, give it some support, and we're pretty much done, guys. Alright guys, so basically we have this going to be taped up here, and I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on, and that's pretty much done. I'm going to cover the aluminized parts with the black tape so it stays stealth, and I'm going to go ahead and see how it sounds, and we're going to start it up. Alright guys, this is all done here, so now we're just going to put on the decal as the final touch, and I think... Having it right here, the bottom is actually what's going to be best. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and start her up and see how she sounds. Of course, the induction noise is going to be a bit more muffled now because it has an air box, but um, it should still be pretty cool. So let's do it. Alright guys, again this is the 5th gen Hyundai Elantra guy and I hope you enjoyed the install for our new dedicated Apex C or Apex integration intake and customizable, uh, customized uh, airbox guys. So as always guys, God bless you and always enjoy the drive. Alright guys, this is again